Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 33 of Terra Firma Punks. We're here on the TF Punk server, Grimcore's server. Uh, it's just me and Maze on at the moment. I think she's doing some off-camera stuff. Uh, I've been doing quite a bit of off-camera stuff as well, and I'm starting to freak out a little bit because this whole ore processing thing is taking a lot more time and effort that I seem to have available. Um... This is officially... I'm, I'm out of episodes. This is... I don't have anything for tomorrow. Um, I need to get this episode produced so that you guys have something to watch for tomorrow. Uh, so I thought I better get on here. I just got home from work and, and try and, and uh, maybe catch you guys up a little bit on what we've been up to. And of course I've timed this perfectly so I think the sun's about to go down. Yeah, two minutes. We'll, we'll see how far we get. Um, but we've updated, so the pack has been updated to 2.0.5. I think there's another uh, sort of slight improvement on that patch uh, in the works as well, due to come out very soon. So I guess we'll, we'll update to that. And it's brought a few changes. Um, notably, there's been some changes to the ore processing. So before we've even got started on this, it's kind of obsolete, but not really obsolete. Um, what I mean is... There have been some tweaks to the Magnetocraft ore processing machines, and they actually, according to Grimm anyway, produce more materials than if you go through like the immersive engineering chain. But we're not going to change it because I love immersive engineering, and I've never gotten a chance to actually build these machines in in uh, Terra Firma Craft uh, before. So I'm kind of looking forward to how they work out. And One Wolf said that you do actually need the immersive engineering machines for some stuff later on as well. So we're going to do that. Maybe we'll move on to the other stuff eventually. Who knows? I do kind of want to try and mess around with everything at some point. Um, plus, I've already been spending ages farming for, for, the, for this one. Um, so we're, we're going to carry on with it. I think we need to sleep, don't we? Uh, soon. <laughs> I just sent some excess grade over to, uh, to Maze's base because I didn't need it that pocket farm we've got is actually working pretty well. There we go, we're in bed. Just sleep this night away. There we go. Um, yeah, so I did a bunch of, I've been doing a bunch of mining and resource gathering for this ore processing stuff. And I've basically been making use of Grimm's facilities over in his base. He's got a couple of like the manual blast furnaces. So uh, one of the things we need for all the black steel was nickel. And you can kind of see we've got nickel covered now. <laughs> That's not even all of it. I got, uh, where is it? One of these things. Garnierite. Right? There's a bunch more here. I basically went all the way up to where our uh, Gabbro is up here. I've still got the waypoint up. Don't know if you can actually see it. These don't seem to come out very well on, on YouTube. Um, yeah, dug down and just started digging mine shafts, basically exploring. And you can kind of tell from the state of our red steel pickaxe how many hours and how many blocks I spent um, digging around trying to find the stinking stuff. I eventually did find some of that normal quality. I've processed a bunch of it. Um, we got more, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to even use what we've processed here already. Uh, and I've also been working on processing a bunch of pig iron. So we've got a bunch of this here. There's still more to come. I'm kind of popping over to his base every so often and and sticking some more in his blast furnace. Um, keeping it chunk loaded with, with ender pearls. I moved the, the world anchor over there as well. Uh, what else? Um, I kind of redid the power in here as well. Don't know if you can hear that. There's an ice cream truck outside. I think that's optimistic. We're in England. It's really not that hot here. Um, but yeah, I kind of just linked everything together. I was getting really sick of having to move machines around all the time. I think this is actually worse. The... These um, engines seem to have trouble transmitting all their power into these wire connectors, and it's not that these things don't have enough capacity. They can carry more than these produce, a lot more. And yet the power still seems to build up in here. Um, so I, I don't know what the deal with that is, but these all connect together. They run across here. This is just temporary. I just need something to put this wire connector on. Runs into here, connects up to our metal press. Uh, and then down underneath, I have got the other two engines connected up here, 
and they are connected up to our, our crusher. So everything's connected. All four engines are actually producing into the same grid, but it's messy and I will probably change this and I'm gonna need a lot more power production than these can give us anyway. Um, but like I'm running low on creosote oil. Um, should I switch that on? I'm gonna have to get some power going soon anyway. Um, but I thought something I could do while I'm processing all this metal, because we're not going to get this ready this episode. We need to do a few other bits still to, to build them all. Uh, oh, no, that is something else I did. Where would they be? Um, I basically made all the fire bricks already. But I cannot, for the life of me, remember where I put them. It's been so long. It's been This episode's been a few days in the making, all this stuff I've been doing off camera. Uh, in one of these, maybe? No. Oh, it's probably somewhere. No. One of these. Oh, I have extra grain there, too. Fire that. In fact, let's, let's send that now. <laughs> we don't need it. We can always get more. Another delivery incoming. <laughs> that never, ever gets old. Anyway, somewhere. Ooh, I bet it's up here, actually. I bet I've got it up here with this stuff. Where are you? No. No. Oh, for, this is actually going to drive me crazy now. I have to find this stuff. Where is it? In here? No. Oh, I did find some extra diamonds as well, actually. I'm going to be very, very... <laughs> I'm going to be very, very sad if I've lost that stuff. I'm going to find that off camera uh, after this segment. Uh, completely ah, completely lost my train of thought now. Where is it? Whatever. Sorry. I know that's been going on for too long now, and that's just me running around failing to find things. Um, a fun thing, back to it, that I think we can... Oh, you can tell I'm annoyed. Sorry. That I think we can work on um, is... There's a quest to make alviaries. Oh man, we're actually losing propolis now. We're producing so much of it. These things are working really well. We've got, they're full, 32 stacks of 64 propolis. We've got that, propolis, propolis, whatever. Uh, we've got a ton of pollen clusters, decent amount of honey drops. We're actually gonna be using that. Um, and I've hooked up our majestic, no, 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 imperial, imperial bees so that they can produce us some royal jelly. Um, and we're going to need that to produce our alviaries. And the reason I want to actually get into alviaries is because in the quest book here, oh my goodness, 70 with unclaimed rewards, is in about time, no, the blacksmith. Yeah, here we go. We produce these, and we have a chance of, we, we basically can pick ender princesses, and you can use these to produce ender pearls. The only problem is they require dragon eggs as a... Um, as like a flower, but I'm kind of hoping that if we crossbreed them with something, we might get lucky and they won't require a dragon egg. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be pretty risky, but I wanted to try it anyway, so that's why we're going to produce the alviaries. Um, but to build the alviaries and actually make use of them, we need forestry wood so we can turn it into slabs. So that's why I've got all this stuff on me here. I made a couple of these proven grafters. They are... I just had a couple of iron nuggets kicking around, and just with sticks. You make them in the, the carpenter with the seed oil. Pretty easy. Um, but you can use them with saplings to make the forestry versions of those saplings. So we need to grab some pollen clusters. Let's do that. I want to make these now and get them planted so they can grow while I'm working on other things. Let's do that. We're actually really hungry too. Let's get let's get some food. I've got my sandwich set up in here. What? Sheep? Sheep, you're back. Oh, it's amazing. How did you get here? Okay, I know exactly how you got here. We also added deco craft. <laughs> Um, this isn't in the pack. We just all on the server decided that we wanted to have it here for some extra bits and pieces. I wanted to, um, tell you guys that we had that before I went crazy and added decorations all around the base. Wolf isn't a fan of deco craft. Um, I think, I think he likes the decorations themselves, but he doesn't like the crafting mechanic, I think, which is basically you just fill this with dye and clay and you can make anything in the entire world. And I get that. It doesn't really fit with terra firma craft and the 
the way that they do things, but I really like this mod. Plus, it means Sheep is back! Sheep can join us on our adventures again. Are you happy about that too, Sheep? No. Oh. Well, okay, you're stuck with this anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, we came in here for sandwiches. We actually genuinely need sandwiches. Grab you. And you. And then let's get some pollen. Just grab a stack or something, I guess. Uh, shift click for that. And let's see how many of these saplings we can make. So it was like pollen clusters, grafters. I'm really hoping we don't lose these things. Um, date palm sapling. That's one we got from Quest Rewards. So we're going to plant that. That's already a forestry tree. Is it like this? How do we turn this into a... The forestry version. Oh, I guess we have to plant, we have to analyze it. Yeah, we have to analyze it, so we'll do that in just a sec. Uh, but this one for sure, we want the forestry version. Good, we don't lose it, we don't lose it. Birch gives us the silver birch. Spruce gives us, doesn't give us? I thought that was one. Huh, okay, maybe that's not a thing. Uh, chestnut, this is dark oak, so I got four of these because it would be a pain not being able to actually grow the tree. How do we make... I thought spruce was one, and pine as well. Pine sapling gives us red spruce. Silver birch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Apparently I'm just crazy. That isn't... That isn't a thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, and then acacia sapling. I made this tree elizer. Um, as well, just in preparation for this episode. It wasn't too bad, just a bit of bronze and some gems, a bit of water. Um, but we're gonna need some, I think it's honey, or is it pollen we need for this thing? Yeah, it's honey for some reason. But if I put you in here, we get an acacia sapling. So we need to plant these now. Um, let's see. Oh, these bees, I need to find some way of dealing with these. They're going to drive me crazy. I actually realize that I've been making terrible, terrible mistakes with all of my piping. There are actually um, insertion pipes, which do what I didn't think you could do in Buildcraft. They will intelligently detect whether an inventory is full before they try to insert um, objects into it. So I could use that to automate the blast, uh, the coke ovens pretty easily, and I could have used them instead of these diamond pipes, honestly, on these things, and still been able to just transport the excess bees away, so we might have to rewire this again. But if I'm making alvearies, I might just wait until I've got those hooked up. Oh, let's... what time is it? Nearly time to sleep. Um... Yeah, let's get these things planted. We don't want them to be covering up the bees. We do want them to be reasonably close. Sleepy time yet? Yeah, there we go. Let's sleep. Okay, good. Have a drink of water. Uh, plant our acacia sapling. And we're going to see what crazy things we can crossbreed with these. I hope this is in range of those... Those bees there. Uh, apple oak. Sure, why not? Put you there. Um, spruce. Oh, this was the one that wouldn't work. Pine, though. We... Oh. Hmm? I was... Did I just forget to make this one? Yeah, there we go. Red spruce. Okay, cool. So we'll plant you as well. Boom. Uh, and we'll see what we get out of those. Um... Yeah, I guess that's it for this segment. I need to let these things grow, and then we'll mess around with them. There is one more thing I want to work on, so I'll maybe I'll leave these things growing between episodes, and maybe we'll go work on that. Um, but we are going to need to finish crafting up all this ore processing stuff. We are going to need um, blaze powder. So, blast furnace... Uh, well, we're making the reinforced blast bricks, so we need a bunch of black steel. That's why I'm processing all the metal. But we need to make a bunch of carmonite, and that requires... Uh, there we go, this magma cream. Slime balls, we got covered. We're never going to run out of those again, but we do need a whole bunch of, of blaze powder to go with this. So, uh, we're... Maybe I'll design that between episodes, and I'll take a quick break here, and I'll get these trees to grow, and we'll see if we can get some... Um, see what like crossbreeds we can get out of these. So I'll see you guys in just a bit.
What do you think, guys? How do I look? Do I look all, like, classy and stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I made some of these forestry spectacles. They're actually pretty, pretty easy to make. One piece of bronze, two pieces of glass pane. Um, but I needed those so I could see these leaves when they start to change and they've been kind of like cross spreads. So we've got like a leaf like this one here. If we break this, get a little sapling and that one. That's cool. Um, do we have any others kicking around? I don't think there's that many. We need some slightly different trees, I think, to get these to crossbreed properly. And these, I think, are just going to be straight up... Um, they said acacia, which is, what, this one? That's where we took them off, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so I don't think they're going to be anything anything too special. But the reason... Oh, ooh, ooh, here's one here. Let's grab this one. What was that? Oh, that crossed with the date palm. That's interesting. And, yeah, okay, we've got a block up here. Oh, uh, I need something to climb with. Oh, hold on. Let's grab some carpenter's blocks. And I guess we should sleep as well. Sudden crazy lag spike. Come on. Uh, Carpenter's blocks, you will do nicely. Let's sleep here where it's light. One second. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab a little sandwich here. And we'll see what that last one is. But the real reason I... Um, I wanted to get this tree breeding going. Well, I mean, it's fun. It's something interesting we can do and try and get lots of different colors of wood and everything. But I need the I need the planks. I need forestry planks or I need vanilla planks so I can craft the um, so I can craft the alvearies themselves and also to make the pieces to make the alvearies. So let's just see what this thing here was. Um, where's my grafter? Boom. That looks like a Acacia one. Hmm. Tell you what, let's look at these quickly before I start getting all the next bunches of saplings right. So we've got acacia and red spruce, date palm and silver birch. Okay. Acacia and date palm. Acacia and dark oak. Here, yeah, like I say, nothing special. We, we'll probably get something eventually. Um, but this was a quest reward, this tree. So we want to get some extra saplings of this anyway. I think Grim said he wanted some some saplings from this tree. Oh, one second. Erg, sorry, yeah, doorbell went and I had to answer it. <laughs> let's grab these saplings quickly here. Um, let's try and get a couple of extras of these ones too, just so we have them in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. These proven grafters are so much better. Um, and like, it was basically free. It was just a couple of sticks and some iron nuggets we already had, so... <laughs> What's not to like? Grab some of you. Some of this as well. This cocoa that's growing on this tree here. I mean, we've been actually getting that from bees, but that doesn't hurt either, right? We can use that for brown dye. Uh-huh. The most sought-after of colors. And some more forestry acacia saplings. Okay. Now let's try... What? Am I full already? Wow, these really don't stack, do they? Okay, let's stick all this stuff in here. Because they're all like different stats and stuff. Hmm. I've got that forestry, um, that tree arborists. There we go. Arborist chest. Can't get my words out. Got that from a quest reward, so I think it's going to be pretty handy for keeping all these things safe. But now, in theory, we can just take our axe here and we can like chop down. Well, these for starters. Don't need you here. What is that? Dates. They're used for fruit juice. Interesting. Crushed nuts in the rock crusher? That's... I don't know what those are for. Uh, they make nutty pulp sheets. And that with enchantment table, fiery blood... Oh, we need that to make the auto-enchantment table. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. That might be interesting to have. I guess I thought this was going to give us cocoa, but I was clearly wrong. Okay, so let's take this. Got some wood. Now, can we turn this into planks? We can. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to need a whole bunch more of this palm wood. That seems like a pretty nice color, too, actually. 
that's cool. Okay, uh, we've got our saplings. I don't think, will I get it from these ones as well? Oakwood. Is this going to give me planks? No, that gives me the TSC versions. Yes, we're going to have to use like this date palm. Grow a whole bunch of this date palm. Now, what about this dark oak? Let's just chop this thing down, see if this gives us the planks we want as well. Uh, dark oak and... Oh, where's my saw gone? There we go. Yeah, that gives us chestnut lumber. So the only one that's actually going to be of any use to us is going to be that date palm. So I'll, I'm going to get a whole bunch of those planted, I think. Um, let's see, get you guys in here. Maybe I'll plant all of them, all the different like crossbred ones, and we'll see how they, how they look. Um, but the reason I need this stuff then is we can finish off the alviaries. And I don't think we're going to be able to do this this episode just because it's going to take a ton of time to grow those trees and get everything. But where's... Yeah, there's the carpenter. I've just been making a bunch of these impregnated casings. Um, it's just seed oil, so I put all of our excess seeds in here, processed them, turned them into these casings, and then in here you take your palm wood or your wood planks, and we start making our scented paneling. Oh, that's actually not too slow. I thought that was going to take like a million years. Hmm, I might actually be able to get this done in time for the next episode then. That would be cool. I was kind of hoping I could show this off. Um... But yeah, I guess that is going to be it for now. So, I don't know, tell me what you you think of the tree breeding, guys. Is it something we, I should get into? Are there any, like, um, trees you think would work in this base? Because there's, like, a million different types of forestry wood. And I kind of need a little bit more variety in here. This gray from the andesite is driving me crazy. We got all these planks. Like, maybe that, oh, that mahogany seems kind of nice might be just the wrong shade of red. It's a touch purpley there. Ebony, that seems pretty nice. I might play around with these, but I'm definitely open for suggestions. If you guys have any like um, colors you think would work with this chest chestnut and the and the brass and stuff, let me know and I'll, I'll work towards those. But for now, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to get back to processing metals <laughs> and maybe working on this tree breeding a bit, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.